exciting happened today. I got uh, one of the packages I was waiting for. And it just so happens to be, well, <laughs> if I put this down, I can show you because I'm wearing them. Stand this up. Bam. Corrosion Suji rings. And I will say they are not bad at all. The lighting in here is absolute garbage. Give me one second. Okay. And we're back. You can kind of see the box here. But yeah, I ordered... Uh, I was going to just order these two. Because these two were the only ones I wanted. But then I saw this box. And it's got all kinds of goodies in it. It's got pretty much everything in it. Um, I think that one's from... Kurosu Suji 2, that one's definitely Alois's ring. That one, I believe, is uh, the one that the girl gets, Elizabeth, where she's turned into a doll and things. You've got the little earrings, one of which I am wearing right now, and it's amazing. Then we have Head Butler and the Crest, and then a little necklace. But the nice thing about this was that w when I bought it, I will say this was um not very expensive so i wasn't expecting a lot i never am when i buy these things i'm like uh it's only a fiver so it's probably not going to be very good what i will say about this this is fantastic quality for a fiver like the the necklace i assumed the necklace sorry i'm going to stand back a bit i assumed the necklace was going to be um like that on the front and then hollow in the back, but it's not. It's solid and heavy, might I add, at that. I'm trying to discern whether the whether the gems are actually plastic or glass, because if they're glass, then that's even better. Uh, one pet peeve that I did have, I'm going to show you now, is that. Uh, you probably can't see it on mine, but on the back, oh shit, on the back of mine, I've got a butterfly thing, if you can see that, but these things actually didn't come with butterfly clips on the back, they came with just a little bit of rubber, basically, which I was kind of wary of, which is why I've borrowed a butterfly clip from another earring, but... Other than that, these things, all the rings I will say, listen, all the rings are really good quality and heavy, like if I just show that one, the one that I'm wearing, CLs, if my camera will focus on it, Ooh, it is pretty darn good. And then the crest. Will you focus on that? Yeah, good camera. Go on. See it? Pretty damn good. Though the one thing I, I was slightly frustrated with is that um, there's actually uh, plastic over the top of the crest. And this is a signet ring, so that wouldn't be there on a real signet ring because you're supposed to use this ring to stamp your seal on things. So that's kind of frustrating. <laughs> but yeah, all of these things, they're all heavy. And uh, this one's just got a pin on the back, but they're solid as well. See? There's no hollow to them, like, there's, there's no bit missing in them. They are solid metal. And you don't get that very often with cosplay props. And just look at, just look at the detail on this. If I can get it to focus. Go on. Yeah. Look at the detail on it. That is pretty damn good. Um. So yeah, I am I am extremely happy with this, and I may even leave a link to this 
uh, in the description in case somebody wants to buy it because I fucking recommend they do like as cosplay props go but usually, there you go, there it is again usually you'd expect that inner bit to be hollow but it's not it's solid so these are actually quite decently made that's uh, the Elizabeth ring the other version of CL's ring that exists very nice uh, we have this one, and again, I'm not sure what this one is. It might be that I don't remember it because it's from Kurashitsuji 2, which I'm not particularly fond of. Uh, and I might actually be mixing this one up and the other one up, and this is the Elizabeth ring, but uh, somebody will correct me, I'm sure. Go on, focus. Focus. There you go. Look at that. And if I turn it this way, actually. Oh, shit. That see through look. See it? It's not just backed in metal or something, you can actually see through it. And then we've got, I didn't show this very well, but this is the head butler's badge. Go on, focus. There you go. So this is Sebastian's badge. Uh, except Sebastian's badge would have come with a little link chain. Uh, it wouldn't have been a pin like this. It would have been something that you'd put on the lapel or through one of the buttonholes. Uh, you actually see that happen in, well, I, th I think it's actually near the end of the second book of Circus, uh, you see Tanaka take the pin off and then pin it back to Sebastian, you can see the little chain that links around the back, but I'm, I'm actually thoroughly impressed with this, like usually they, they don't nearly give you this much quality, and I will say as well, they fit. Um, for reference, I'm a size N, uh, which is usually a 7 or a 7.5, I think, in US sizes. Uh, and rings never fit me. Like, I have to go looking for my size. And especially one size rings almost never are my size. So to have these fit me perfectly is incredible. It's like, my finger was designed for this ring <sighs> no um <laughs> the only thing i did have to do uh with this with the signet ring uh and it's understandable because thin this, they're thin backed rings compared to this see the difference in size thin backed and thick backed thin backed rings usually don't fit me very well so what I did, take it off and show you, was uh, I put a, I put in a, a ring filler, but uh, I have this little clever thing where I make my own ring fillers. See that little black band in there? Now, I make my own ring fillers with basically um, sticky back uh, crafting felt. I will, yeah, I'll hang on. This stuff literally craft felt like <laughs> uh yeah it just says stick on felt black and i got this from hobbycraft and i don't know whether hobbycraft are in america probably are talking out my ass here but um yeah so you just basically well you can see what i've done alongside here <laughs> all the bits that i've cut out you just cut out a thin line that's big enough to fit uh the band that you're trying to fill in uh, and then cut it out peel the back off bend it and stick it in there and then you get a homemade ring filler like that and they last pretty well if you uh oh shit <laughs> you dropped my ring they last pretty well 
if you do it right because I've got another ring this ring uh, that basically was it wouldn't even fit on my thumb it, it's that big I mean you can tell the difference between this size and this size <laughs> like this one is way bigger so but I really wanted it because I mean look at it it's fucking cool like look at how cool it is but anyway I put actually quite a big stack of felt in the middle and some on the top there just for comfort's sake and now it fits perfectly So that's a little uh, life hack for you to do with rings, but this one, yeah, it's fine. And you know, that's a rarity. So if you are a size N or seven or or seven point five, uh, these rings will fit you. This is amazing. <laughs> uh, the one thing that was a bit bemusing to me was the fact that I'm, I'm more than likely going to spray over this. I'm probably going to paint over it because the box that this came in... <laughs> it says Ruro Shitsuji <laughs> Which just made me laugh like hell. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Something is not right here. So yeah, what I'm probably going to do is uh, spray over the box, or at least paint over the top and the little flap on the side, because I like the back. The back's cool. And, and the bottom. Hang on. Yay! <laughs> They're so cute. So yeah, that's uh, one of the little hauls I got. If I still have the link to this... Oh my god! I just realized it doesn't even say Kuro, it doesn't even say Ruro Shitsuji. It says Ruro Shitsoji. <laughs> oh my god. How do you get it that wrong? <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, yeah, if I've still got the link, I'll put it in the description because anyone who wants a box of these with all these little extras in it, there are plenty of boxes with just these two going around, but I've seen very few with this many things in them. And considering the one that I've got is such good quality, I mean, like, case and point, the Phantom Hive badge. Like, the... oh my god! You hold it up in the right light, and you can actually see the words written on there. Equentia Regere, or Regere. Here's a test, let's see if my camera picks it up. It would be great if it did. No, I think it's just too small for my camera to pick it up. You can kind of see it, but it's just pushing it to the maximum there. It's like, I can't zoom that far! Uh, it's the same reason I didn't show off uh, the one earring that I've got in here, because there's no way my camera would be able to pick up something that small. But yeah, considering this is such good quality by the box, <laughs> Uh, I would recommend that anyone buys this, so yeah, this is the end of my uh, Ruro Shitsoji hole. Hole? <laughs> hole! <laughs> God damn it! I'm even spelling things wrong myself. Anyway, uh, thanks for listening, and I will catch you on the flip side. And, uh, I just wanted to say, since I did that little uh, trick talking about uh, putting felt on the inside of your ring to make a ring filler rather than buying ring fillers, 
uh, since it works just as well. I thought I'd share another tip with you is that uh, most of the most rings like this that you buy cheap. Uh, I've noticed it's silver ones in particular because this one does not seem to be doing it. Uh, they dull and react with the salt on your finger and turn your finger green, which is not what you want. <laughs> Uh, you can already see if this will focus the inside of it is pretty tarnished looking because I've been wearing it for a while come back, thank you so top tip for that is a top coat clear nail varnish is the perfect thing to use for this. Now I've got a matte nail paint by Barry M. Uh, I'm using matte because I like the way it feels better and also because uh, this dries quicker than my other top coat does. So you want to apply your taco, top, taco, your, your, your matte taco. We are simply neological now. Uh, <laughs> just all on the inside of your ring. You can do it just on the band bit here, or you can go all the way around. It really depends on your preference for things like that. But in theory, that should stop it from tarnishing your finger. So, uh, yeah. That's a, a, an excellent thing to do with this. Is your glorious little taco. Best tacos. Yay. Even though this is super cheap. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go now. Meow.